So I'm going to do a quick video on setting up the Epson 2550 on my Wi-Fi. The same setup can be used on the Epson ET4500. The menu, the actual look of the menu looks different, but it's the same exact thing. I'm just doing a cleaning here. You could do the same thing. I'm cleaning the heads on that one. Now, you're gonna scroll through the menu until you get to Wi-Fi setup, which I was on, but I just wanna show you the different menus. And Wi-Fi setup, click OK. Wi-Fi setup wizard, click OK. And no, I don't want that one because that one doesn't exist anymore. So I'm gonna click no. Searching, I'm looking for my Orbi. And now I gotta change characters and to change the character I need the lowercase. I need to press the house. And as you can see, I just changed characters. Just read the menu on the bottom and it tells you all the buttons you can use to do different things, whether you want to change the characters uh, to lowercase, uppercase, or um, numbers. So now let me put in my password. I can't show you, sorry. Let me do this very quickly. You're going to go up until you get to the character that you need. And then once you find the character that you need, let me just show you the first one. Okay. You're going to click the right arrow. You can also click back if you want to change it again. So you'll have to start all over again. Okay, click the right arrow, and I'm going to scroll until I get all of them. So I'll be pretty quick. I'm trying to do this with one take. Change characters again. It doesn't take that long. And now it's setting it up. Awesome. And I should be connected to the, to my Orbi. Still setting up. Okay, still set up complete, print report. If you want to, I won't. So I'm gonna click no. And I'm on the Wi-Fi now with no issues whatsoever. All right, I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. Thank you.